What's going on guys? It's Carl here and finally back with an update video that I know a ton of you have been asking for. It is a bit of a room house tour of my new spot. So in case you guys didn't know, I just moved to this spot around a month ago and I've been trying to upgrade it slowly. I've decided to break up this video series into segments. So today we'll take a look at my tech living room. We'll take a look at my bedroom, of course the new studio, the desk setup, etc., etc. But since I just got new furniture for this area, I thought I would lead you guys through this place. It's a good one. I'm excited to share this one with you. Let's get into it. So I don't think this uh, first area needs an introduction. It's, I guess, my couch area where I watch TV. This couch and most of my furniture I actually got from a store, Caligaris. I will leave it linked down below. And I won't lie to you guys, I think once you've upgraded from the Ikea game, you invest well in some furniture. It should theoretically last you most of your life. And of course, it's the things that you interact with most. And I don't really like to skimp out on it. So anyways, this huge sectional couch, um, the one thing that I hated from my previous place was the tiny couch, even though it fit well in that spot. It just was too small to lie down. I couldn't have multiple friends over. This thing is the complete opposite. I went for an L shape in gray. I think that's the main color schemes I'm going for here. White, gray, black, maybe bits of orange as contrast and I can lie down finally. So the main showstopper I think, which a lot of you probably know that I've got, it's a 100 inch 4K laser TV. This one's from Hisense and I've worked with them in the past since CES. I'm actually heading to the World Cup later this summer with them in June, so I'm super stoked. <laughs> I don't think words can explain how amazing having a TV this size is. It blends in actually great with a paint color option that I chose. I've gone with two accent walls, this wall as well as this wall. I think the code is web gray. I'll leave of course everything linked below, but if you've had a 55, a 65 inch TV, it is just dwarfed by this behemoth. It's definitely more of an eye catcher and anyone that comes over is almost blown away as I don't think too many people have 100 inch TVs. And for people that haven't seen a 4K laser TV, as the name implies, it projects in 4K so the image is crystal clear. It doesn't have that same washed out effect as most projectors have. And as you can see, the actual console unit lives on my TV stand as well. And maybe the only thing that I would say is the console itself. It is quite big, it's quite bulky, so you need other things to kind of complement it around. I've got my Lego Porsche GT3 RS, which is the dream grail car one day sitting beside to add that hint of orange. On the right hand side, I've actually got my Google Home Max and I actually have two of those paired in this living room that give me stereo sound. So it's very easy for me to, hey Google, play a Cascade mix. And since they're stereo, we're getting a surround sound experience and the Google Homes have been great. Okay, Google, stop. So my TV stand is done in a black wood finish with acid etch glass on top. Inside of that, we have my Xbox One X. I am pretty hardcore team Xbox, and this is where I get most of my gaming done. This is where I chill and watch Netflix. This is just the entertainment zone that I've got going. And beside that, I have a Dyson lamp in case I wanna get any reading done. I haven't read too many books lately, but um, it's my reading light and pretty cool that Dyson makes other things other than vacuums. Um, flanking on the outside, I've got a couple Sony speakers that I think are mostly there for aesthetics. They don't really do anything as they were paired with my older TV. I think the stands look cool. My old man, dad, if you ever watch this video, thank you for making them. I will find a use for them. And I've just got other bits of stainless steel accessories, once again with bits of orange to kind of tie in the entire color scheme. So behind the couch area in this open concept spot, I went for a dining table. This is maybe my favorite piece of furniture. It's ultra modern, very minimal. It actually has a ceramic marble countertop. Apparently this thing alone weighs 400 pounds. I absolutely love how it looks and I think it's the main centerpiece 
to this room. Once again, spent an arm and a leg on it, but I haven't really seen anything that looks this good, and I knew I kind of just had to have it. It ties in the themes of the white legs, the white marble with a hint of gray here. I've got a couple Barcelona chairs that live behind just for lounging. I think the area is a bit cramped, but I didn't really know where else to put these guys. And these ones were actually my best bargain hunt ever. I was just on Kijiji, saw that some dude was selling two of them plus the Ottoman, I think for 150 bucks. So it was a steal. You can get wins hunting secondhand sometimes too. You just gotta be a bit more patient. And now we're coming into the final area of my place. This is the, I guess, rear wall, the second accent color in the same code gray. Uh, here, I decided to go for a console table. Once again, it has that acid etched black glass countertop with the black veneer cabinetry. This is something that I can just store stuff and it keeps it out of the living room. Right here, this is actually a cool little lamp that I just spotted at the same place. I've actually replaced the bulb so it has a Philips Hue light. Now I can change the color. Okay, Google, change the living room light to orange. Okay, changing the living room to orange. Okay, Google, change the living room light to blue. And as you can see, this is the location where I have my second Google Home. And just like I said, it's paired with the other Google Home Max, so it's stereo sound. Over in this corner, this is the second little desk setup area. So when I get tired of sitting in the studio, I like to come here and use my laptops. So I've got a MacBook Pro, I guess, setup going. I've got an LG 4K monitor. That charges my MacBook with one USB-C cable. And I kind of swap between my 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pro. I'm still trying to work out that area. It's definitely a bit of a work in progress. I just have a blue lounge cable management box, obviously in orange, and that is kind of it for the minimalism. I'm hoping that you guys can give me some feedback and tell me how to set this area up. I'm also looking to upgrade this chair, maybe a Herman Miller Aeron. I'll be replacing this thermostat with my Nest. I just had a few minor issues when I tried to set it up on my own. I've got to get some help to get the wiring all fixed and figured out. And I guess the last area in case some of you guys want to see, this is the kitchen as it's technically all part of the same room. It's a bit of a contemporary design. It's kind of off-white for the cabinetry, a bit of a cream. I think that's a bit classy, and I kind of divided that from the white with, of course, this gray strip here. So I don't think it's too off. And the one thing that I'm looking to, I guess, upgrade next is not exactly the island countertop, but it's, I guess, the cabinetry below it. So this dark brown was actually the color of the floor before I got it redone. And I want to update it to something a bit more modern, maybe a light gray. Once again, I'm no interior decorator and I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on what this should look like. And anyways, that has been the tour of, I guess, my living room area. Definitely somewhere where I'm spending way more time. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. I'm kind of happy how everything turned out. And I guess the last thing that's getting done, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I'm actually getting a new chandelier that's going in this area over the table and some new pendant lights that will be hanging over top of the island. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'm still working on upgrading my studio, my desk setup, as I said, my bedroom, and of course the cool balcony outside, which I'll be using a lot this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.